Hey guys, welcome to another video of a KiCad tutorial. So as the title and the thumbnail says, this video is about blind and buried fires. I know it's quite a strange term. As you know, fires is like a little portal that takes your tracks from the top layer to the bottom layer. But you also get fires that can be in, in the middle of your board, so for a four layer board. So it's also important to note that, fire, that blind and buried fires are only for four layer boards, six layer boards and so on because it's actually hidden inside and on top to the middle. But I'll explain more in this video. So that's what this video is about. Um, where you would use blind and buried wires is when you want to make the board as small as, small as possible, then you want to use blind and buried wires because you'll be able to take your tracks actually underneath wires. We have through hole wires. You can't go through, your tracks can't go through it because it goes through the whole board. And now with blind and buried, it gives you space to go underneath and on top depending which one you use. So this video, I'm gonna show you how to set it up in KiCad and how to use it and explain a bit more about that. If you like this video guys, please give it a thumbs up. Um, leave me a comment, just say hello. I really enjoy chatting to you guys. And if you guys want to, please join our Discord channel. It's growing quite nicely. Uh, we've been having quite nice chats, helping each other with different projects. And if someone's struggling with PC design, please drop me a message there. I am better to respond there than YouTube, unfortunately. I do try to re reply to everyone on YouTube. Uh, but sometimes I do miss some. Uh, yeah, but that's enough of that. Let's get started. Let's get started. So I just created a project on KiCad called Buried and Blind Fires. And as we said in the introduction, these are like your normal fires, but either inside your board or it doesn't go straight through. So the first thing we're going to do is just create a board outline, a small PCB. Because why do we use fires? Because to make it easier to make smaller and smaller PCBs as the tracks will have more paths to go. I'll show you guys what I mean while making this board. Now that we've created our board outline, we can see the shape of the board by pushing Alt 3 and then we can see it there. It's just the shape that we drew here. So we can make it smaller. If you guys have watched how to create a board outline, I'm sure you guys know this, but I always like just to do a recap so that everyone who starts watching this video at least has a basic of it. But if you guys want to learn how to make some fun and useful board, like a circle or a triangle or even a random, like a little man, we do have a video in our playlist about that. So I just made it smaller and then the PCB changes. But that's not why you guys are here. You guys are here for the vias. Uh, if you don't know what a via is, a via is, I like to call it a portal. <laughs> so what it does, it takes a track from a certain layer and it makes it capable or possible to have the same track to the bottom layer. Let me show you what I mean. So if I've got a track on the top layer, I push X for placing it and I can just go like this. But now what happens if I want to make a connection to the bottom? I place a via. So now I can push a via there and I can change layers and now I can route a track underneath. So now I've got a track at the top and the bottom and they are connected through the wire so what that means is that this track is connected ele electrically to this track so they shorted the wire so the wire takes my signal from the top layer to the bottom layer but now this video is not about that it's about blind and buried wires so what are blind and buried wires so here's a nice picture explaining what blind and buried wires is so i just went through a normal a fire that's where you find on a normal two layer board it will take it to the top layer to the bottom layer with this connection in between you see it's like almost like a copper cylinder that connects it electrically from the top to the bottom now a buried wire is you'll have it only in the middle layer two layers so fires are only for more than four layer boards so four six eight twelve so it cannot a buried fire is not used in two layer boards and then a blind wire is from the top to uh, inner layer or from the bottom to the inner layer. So this is the differences. So why we do this, you might ask, is because with it through all, you can see I cannot place any tracks here because this will block it. But if I've got a buried wire, I can place a track here. I'll show you guys an example now. And I can place a track here. So with buried and blind wires, you can make the board much, much smaller because you have more places for your tracks to run. I hope, that, I hope that explains it quite nicely. So if you have a track running here, should I say, then 
um, it can go underneath this buried wire where it could not go here because the through hole is blocking it. Same with the blind wire. I can have a track running in this layer because it doesn't go all the way through. So I've got more surface area for my tracks to run where with the through hole will block this whole area from any tracks. So with blind buried wires, I can make my PCB smaller. Okay, let's get to the good stuff. So like I mentioned, you can only have blind and buried wires with more than four layer boards. So how do we make this a four layer board? We did make a video of how to design a four layer PCB in more detail, but I'll just recap quickly. So at the top left here, you see board setup, click on it, and then a window should appear. Here you'll see your copper layers. For now, we just can choose four, but you can go up to 32 in KiCad, which is quite cool. So click four, you'll see an inner layer appear, and you can make it either signal, power, mix, jumper, uh, not going to talk about that now, so we'll just make a signal. Uh, push OK, you'll see it appear on the right hand side here, your two inner layers. So now you've got four layers we can put signals. Um, but we cannot make it a blind and buried wire yet. What we first have to do is go to page setup, and design rules, and then allow blind and buried wires. This has to be clicked. Ticked, <laughs> ticked or clicked, and push OK. Now what we can do is double click on a wire, and you can make it through or blind. So then it'll say your start layer and your end layer. So if we start from the top and end at the bottom, then it's like a through one. So we want to start at the top and maybe end at the first layer. We'll make this one like that, and you'll actually see it change to some funny colors. Let's add another one. And let's make this in the middle. So we're going to go, I can't change this. We've got blind and buried and inner layer, inner layer. And now you can see it's different layers. So these colors match these colors on the right hand side, you'll see. So one more. So if I do from the bottom, bottom to the middle one, we should have green and pink, right? Yeah, green and pink. So these colors do represent stuff. Now let's see what happens when I connect it and how it actually looks in the board. So when I push all three, I get 3D and you can see you can't actually see anything. But what you can do is if I go here, settings, and I say show board body, take this away and push OK. And then you'll see, you can actually see inside the board. And there you can see the different type of wires. So here I'll see it through, straight through with a copper, and then you've got one in the middle, one at the bottom, and another one on top. So that's actually how it looks inside your PCB. So I want to show you guys now what I spoke about is about the tracks. So let's go back to the view. Now I would like you guys to use your imagination. So let's have a look. So these are through. We got our blind and buried over here. So what would happen if I take a track from there to there? It should hit this, right? So let's uh, push X for a track. I can connect this to this. And But if I take another, let's say I want to go to the middle layer, and I want to go through there, X, I will actually go through that wire. So what would happen if I did not want that? If it was two different nets, it's not possible. That is what, me what I meant by space. So for example, if I take a layer here, you can see by the colors, and I go like this, then you can see, okay, it's connected to the top of the wire. Now I want to run a track in the space of the wire, but not touching the wire. So I look at the colors, yellow and pink. So if I cho choose a red or <laughs> green or red one, I can root through this without touching it. So for example, I take green and I just go through it like that. This will not be connected. It's underneath, it's not touching the wire. So this means I can actually have extra space for my routing. That's why we can make a piece be smaller using these um, blind and buried wires. So as you can see, I've got a track at the bottom here, as you can see there, and it's not connected to the wire. So these are two different independent tracks, but it seems like they're together. So the same for this one, I've got red and yellow. So if I use a pink one, I should not touch it. Let's see what happens. Boom. And if I use a pink one here, I should touch it. 
because I've got pink on the right hand side. I'll go all three again, and there you can see. So I can see it there on top, it's touching, and there at the bottom, it's not. So that is how you can use blind embedded vials. I'll make another video where I try to make the smallest PCB possible, making use of this. And in the next video, I'll show you guys how to order it as well from a PCB manufacturer. Please note it is more expensive because it's different processes making the PCB. Uh, so it does get more costly doing this, but you can save space on a PCB if you want to have a small design. But that's pretty cool, right? And that's it guys, it was quite easy, not too difficult. So you just have to make sure on the page setup that you enable the blind and buried vias and then also choosing a four layer board, six layer board and so on. And then it's easy, you just change the settings and choose which one you want. By looking at the colors, you can see, uh, is it part of the top, top to middle? Is it in the middle or middle to bottom? Uh, guys, if you enjoyed this, like thumbs up, uh, like I said earlier. And also if you want to join our membership where I can help you guys more one on one, uh, just push the join button below on YouTube. You'll get moved pri to a private Discord channel where we can chat, video chat, and it just supports the channel. Um, yeah, guys, until next week, until we release a new tutorial, uh, let me know what type of tutorials you guys want. I've not forgotten about the chessboard. It is coming. It's a lot of work, um, but it's coming. Have a fantastic day, fantastic week. Uh, thanks for your support, guys. Bye.